Hello and welcome back to Airbrush Ways. I'm Jack and in this short video I'm um, just going to show you uh, as you can see here we've got two Badger SOTAR 2020s and um, one of them is the uh, large needle and we can tell that because it has the white plastic on the end this is how you can tell with these and then the other one is the fine needle which has the black on the end now, I'm having problems with this one which is the I've uh, had both of these for oh, a long time many years and I'm now having a bit of trouble with this one I've changed things over in the past and now what I'm going to do is completely change the head assembly for this. So it's just to show you guys if you need to do anything with your airbrush, your badger or whatever, there's no major issue with it, don't panic. So um, apart from the white, the difference on the end of these, if I just take those off, is this one if you can see is uh, just the nozzle cap on the end and then this one here has the two prongs on it and these two prongs uh, just protects that needle if you're using it and you won't be able to bash the needle off anything but the large one I don't use it that often but I'm going to put that to one side because this is the one that we're going to use we're going to change over so with the SOTAR um, to get that needle out of the way we just open the chuck there, bring the needle back we can take it out altogether or we can just leave it in there out of the way so I'll fasten that back up and that's now fastened in there to get this off uh, we just get the um, spanner and undo that slightly and we can take this off I'll tell you the trouble that I've been having with this um, basically I've had it for a long time I've changed over different pieces in the past the nozzles have been changed and this uh, nozzle cap the end and then there's another uh, thing there that holds the nozzle cap and the nozzle in place both of those have got stuck together I suppose I've been tightening it and trying to keep it tight and keep it airtight and I've got to the stage now where I just cannot get those two I'll just get this I can't get those two apart inside there if I undo this you'll be able to see there is the nozzle if you can see it there the nozzle and then the end cap uh, which has the uh, that middle bit I don't know what that's called and then this end bit which is the uh, head assembly which goes into the airbrush and if you can see in there at all that's your main airbrush it's threaded and this thing just screws into there so because I've been having a lot of trouble with this uh, because those two are fastened together now and I just think if I try and do any more with that I'm going to break it, I'm going to cause damage. So I've bought a whole new unit. Um, I went online and I went on to a company, I think they're called Barbell Works over in England and I've got a head assembly without the protective arms and the F shows that it's for the fine needle and the code is 20142. So I bought this um, and I'm going to just replace it it'll just show you that there's no mither in actually doing this no worry about doing it so if we just take this out and just drop it onto the table and you can see there that we have the whole assembly and the new PTFE ring I think it's called plastic ring and it's uh, um, okay for using um, acrylics and, and any other any kind of paint to be honest so I'm just going to slide that on there if you can see that 
and then um, Okay, sorry about that camera movement. And then I'm going to just get some uh, of this airbrush lube and put a drop on that thread. Doesn't have to be much. And then I'm just going to put that inside there. Turn it the opposite way till I hear it kind of threads click in and then tighten it up. Once I've got that in place and finger tight, I'm now just going to get the spanner ever so slightly. It doesn't have to go too, too hard, just past finger tight. And then we can undo the chuck, put the needle back in, fasten the chuck back up. And that's now our airbrush. It has the spongy top on the trigger and makes it a little bit taller and easy I find it a lot easier to use that way we looked at that in a different review we can put the cap back on and that thing then now is uh, ready for putting away until we need it again Badger great airbrush um, and so is the water as you've seen I use the water probably more than the Badger but now that I've done this we'll maybe give this a little bit of a run as well um, all that we've done with this because the, the arrows I use are badger fittings. We've just got a quick disconnect onto an adapter which goes to the badger. So we've got the badger airbrush, uh, the adapter which takes the Iwata quick disconnect and then that can go onto the air hose. So that's it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed what I've just shown you. It's give you a little bit of confidence, hopefully, if you decide that there's something not quite right and you need to change it. You can buy all these parts, whether you get onto Ken from uh, Badger Airbrush USA or Barbell Works over in the UK. All this stuff you'll find online and all those little bits, the nozzle and everything else, they're all replaceable. OK, I'm Jack. This is Airbrush Ways. Have a good weekend, we'll speak to you next week. Don't forget, if you like what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up, share the video with your friends, anybody who you know is airbrushing, and uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon at the side will let you know when I'm doing the next video. Okay, bye.